Okay, we're back in Skyrim because it's snowing like crazy at my place, so... I'm just in a Skyrim mood. I tried playing Assassin's Creed, it just didn't happen, so... Here we are. Uthgar the Brave. Ready to take on the world. Ebony everything. Lord's Mail. Mage's Hood. Let's do this. Robes Restoration. Alright. Horsey. Carriage. Carry weight's looking spectacular. What do we want to do? Because last time we finished the Companions get or the Companion Guild quests. So we're done with that. I know what we're going to do. Next Daedric quest. <laughs> That's pretty much how this works. So we are headed towards a dog and his master. So many vampires, so little time. But the mask of Clavicus Vile is too good to pass up. We can't can't take that and not have it. It's it's too good. So let's see here. We have that. We're going to take off the miscellaneous quest. There we go. Onwards. No reason not to do some muffling. Remember, we are always in the mood to accomplish things. Upgrades, people. Upgrades. So we are Moving right along. See if we can't discover a couple things at least. things happen going that way. There's Orphan Rock. Get up there. Get up there. There we go. Hello, friend. We are playing the Skyrims because I look outside and it's snowing like crazy. We are on our way to go pick up the mask, or the, yeah, the, the face of Clavicus Vile. We want the Daedric Artifact. We're playing Uthgar the Brave Battle Mage. Lord's uh, armor, Lord's mail's under there, under his robes, equipped out in ebony armor. We just want to swap out our mage's hood, even though it looks awesome, with Clavis, Clavicus Vile's helmet. It'll be or the mask of Clavis, Clavicus Vile. Excuse me. Talking is difficult.
I was playing Assassin's Creed Valhalla, and it just, it wasn't clicking for me, so. Skyrim always does. It's a, it's a comfort food type video game. We have completed the Companions Guild questline. We are on our way to fight a bunch of vampires, so it's a good thing we're a werewolf. We will not be catching vampiric diseases. He's a poacher. Emir's shame is found. My master and I had a, a bit of a fall out. We got into an argument and got rather heated. He's kicking me out until I find There's out. There's a dragon. That's where you come in. Thank you. I know there's a... If this works out, I'll make sure you're rewarded. You just don't trust any offer he makes you, okay? So I'll hop over to my destruction magic. For we are destruction mage. Thanks to mods. We would never play a mage without mods. <laughs> I don't know why you'd play Skyrim anymore without mods to begin with. Some people do. Kudos to them. Play the game how you want. As you see, that's a vampire thrall. We're gonna fight a lot of those. But it's okay. Well, it's gonna be very challenging living without a head. See? There it is. He's looking at himself. That's awkward. We're just gonna go over here, take these arrows, open this chest. Oh, the receptum's okay. That ain't the worst thing ever. Potatoes. No use for potatoes. Taters, precious. Do your worst. Do your worst. I mean, I'm going to enjoy killing you. Enjoy it without a head. That's going to be difficult. I'm now invisible. Invisible. I'm revisible. I'm I'm uninvisible build. Yeah, doesn't like the turns out they don't like to fire. A Volakir vampire, huh? Well that's not good. Your thrall is dead. Phone call. No idea who it's from. Still plate pauldron. Interesting. I don't usually see those. That's pretty. Light armor, but it's pretty. Orcish club. I just get so nervous for some reason when my phone rings. Like, even if it was my work, I wouldn't... I don't know why I'd be nervous. It doesn't bother me. It's just... One of those things. Huh. The first song of Polonial White Stripe. Oh, the Forsworn. Interesting concept, terrible execution. That's what the Forsworn are. Uh, 
That's where she slept. See, coffin. Charged skeever, we'll take that. I will be right back. I've checked this. Sorry about that. I got a nationwide call about student loan forgiveness, which I'm totally for that. I just don't have any student loans to forgive. I graduated college debt-free. That being said, I am totally down for people having their student loans forgiven. It's a very smart idea. It would put that money as spendable income and not debt income. So instead of people paying off student debts, they can go out and buy houses and buy cars and buy various things. And I am a fan of that idea. I, uh, would very much be okay with that. I know several friends that got master's degrees and are extremely far in debt, and it's very sad that you continue your education at the cost of your future. Because they make the same that I do, and that's absolutely ridiculous. I'm sorry. So, that's my little rant on student debt forgiveness. It should be a thing. Those companies that employed student debt and made college that expensive should all be shut down and the leaders should be thrown in jail, in my opinion. It's absolutely crippled the United States economy. It's, it's a bad thing. About the songs of Polonial. Yeah, that victory is someone's. That dog's taking care of business. I'm not touching nothing. It's kind of funny to me. Response to Bureau's speech. We already have that. We don't mind picking up doubles of books because we're going to have a library. I have Adra and Deidre already, I know that. They're going to enjoy this. I'm gonna get there eventually. That is the exit. <laughs> I don't want to exit. No, no, no. If you 
can't tell. It's been some time since I've done this quest. Are you? How about that? Did you enjoy that? Look at that dog, Barbus's. Oof. <laughs> He's had better days, let's just say. Poor dog. If he wasn't a Daedric Prince. Potato. Oh, short sword. I'll translate into some stuff. Very good. I like those modded gems. They just add more treasure to the game. And more treasure is not a bad thing. See, now it wants me to go this way. Still more vampires to fight. But as you see, we're level 51. We can take care of ourselves. We're big boys and girls now. I'm a big boy. A random salt pile, that's pretty weird. Spirit of Nern. We just picked up four, so we know we got that. City of Stone, I don't think we have that. Okay. I was gonna say I didn't think I picked up any magical items, I did not. Huh? Huh? See a night master vampire that's upper upper echelon vampire. failed, so. Whoops.
By all means, let's hear it. It's the least I could do since you already helped me grant one final wish for my last worshippers. They were suffering so from vampirism and begged me for a cure. Then you came and ended their misery. I couldn't have planned it better myself. So, what's your heart's desire? What kind of deal can we strike? Ugh, that insufferable pup. Forget it. Request denied. No deal. I'm glad to be rid of him. Even if it does mean I'm stuck in this pitiful shrine in the back end of nowhere. Well, perhaps there is a way he could earn his place back at my side. Maybe. But no promises. What's your offer? An incredibly powerful axe. An axe. Powerful enough for me to have quite a bit of fun indeed. If you bring it to me, I'll grant you my boon. No strings attached, no messy surprises. At least not for you. As I recall, it's resting in Rhyme Rock Burrow. Barbers can lead you right to it. Little Mutt might even earn his place back at my side. So, it's the story behind the roof lax. Clavicus is little Jess. A wizard named Sebastian Lord had a daughter who worshipped Percy. When the daughter became a werewolf, it drove Sebastian over the edge. He couldn't stand to see his little girl take on such a bestial form. The wizard wished for the ability to end his daughter's curse. Clavicus gave him an axe. Well, I guess what you can say that is nice. I tend to be the voice of reason, and he finds that uh, irksome. He couldn't just kill me, you see. We're technically part of each other. But he was able to banish me from his domain. Of course, because of our separation, Vile is now much weaker. I guess he figured it was a small price to pay for not having to listen to me anymore. Huh, it's kind of a jerk move. Alright, let's go find us an axe. First things first. Boss chest. Ooh, ebony armor. I was about to say that chest sucked, but this makes it worth it. Okay, ebony armor it is. Save that. Ooh, I'm not, I don't have anything really close to it. That sucks. This is why we unlock stuff, people. Alright, well. We'll head that way then. Now, the Rufal Axe is an artifact, but it's one of the worst artifacts in the entire game. <laughs> We're far more interested in the Mask of Clavicus file.
far more interested. That's a Daedric Artifact. I just see there's a lot to unlock. But we will. So much to do. Plenty of time to do stuff in. Not nearly enough to finish anything major here, but we'll get a Daedric quest done. Oh yes, we will. There's Pine Moon Cave Discover. That's actually an important cave. Well worth its discovery. Actually, don't we gotta go clear out vampires in there? I think that's a thing. Yeah, we'll do that later. We're on a mission. No distractions. A vampire wants us to clear out other vampires, and a Daedric Prince wants us to do something else, so guess which one's coming? I'll give you a hint. It's not the vampire's quest. <laughs> A Daedric Prince says do something, dang it, you do it. That's a thing. Clearly a lot more unlocked areas now. Lost Echo Cave. As you see, we're slowly making our way there. Slowly. Yeah, he's coming for me. Yeah, you chose terribly, man. I wasn't coming for you guys, like, at all. I drank the ale. It was delicious. <laughs> I guess we'll quick save. Silly bandit people thinking they can attack me like that. What the heck's wrong with them? As you see, thistles and snowberries tend not to be in the same area. That's an oddity. Keep an eye out for trouble.
those trolls cleared out this dungeon. All right. Save that. Oh, we're going in and we're getting in a rueful axe. Rueful, I say. Rueful. You see there's a flame atronach, which in Morrowind would be scary. But in here it's not. This poor dude. Uh, your death. It's a very pretty design for an axe. Like, it's not... It's not ugly. It's just not any good. fire salts and be on our merry way we're gonna head back to Clavicus Vile <laughs> this Barbus goes woof Definitely want to unlock a couple of these things because down there is the, where Dongard is, so it was a good idea to come here. It was okay to come here. Like I said, you back several streams ago I always I said I always came over here because I'd be looking for Nin Roots to level up my alchemy and random enemies to fight random battles with with whatever offensive weapons I had and magic level up my restoration by healing myself this is where I'd grind the northern areas of Skyrim I was pretty much been ignored as you can see. I haven't really touched it. I mean, I have, but I haven't. But the good news is now I can get there when it's time for Dawn Guard, which isn't yet, but we're getting there. I'd love me. Dongard would love me right now. 
just wiped out all those nasty, filthy vampires. That snow fox. I was actually aiming for him, so that's good. tree had a banner on it. I was losing it there for a second. I'm like, that tree doesn't have a banner? That's crazy talk. Discover several locations. Yeah, I know. Believe me, I know you're there. I go clear out this shipwreck. Because I can. There's no reason not to. This doesn't gonna clear everything, so I um, might as well start. You see just how easy that was. Barnabas didn't even have to do anything. Definitely not first try. Gonna go get my mask clavicus vile. <laughs> Come on. 
conquering all the stuff I need to do. Gonna get through this quest today, yo. And then we'll see what else I want to play. Do do do. Woof. Barbus, we need to get rid of you. Just as a rule of thumb. The frustration is real. Oh, a little herky jerky action there. Whew. for the spirit. It's almost storybook. Ah, oh, but it almost seems a shame to give a weapon like that away, doesn't it? I suppose I could be persuaded to let you keep it. Only if you use the axe to kill Barbus. Simple as that. No. You're no fun at all. Guess I'll have to make my own fun elsewhere. And with the pup back, I'll be restored to my full power. There's a whole world just waiting for me! I knew I could trust you. Yeah, yeah, dog yeah, gets yeah, master, dog master gets, gets cosmic axe, cosmic everyone's happy, just, just get over here, mutt. Don't 
worry, I'll make sure he sees the light. I trust you, now you trust me. Oh, that feels so much better. You forget how nice Supreme Power feels until you've been stuck in a cave for a few years. It's a shame you wished for something so dull as me taking back the mud. Quite the lack of imagination on your part. A lack of ambition like that really ought to be punished. Perhaps by turning you into a worm. Or maybe a few decades of... Oh, fine. Have my bone and be done with it. Got more interesting deals to make anyway. <laughs> so, these guys actually in ESO, in the Morrowind expansion, are bad. Are the bad guys. He is Barbus. In the actual Elder Scrolls 3, he's Creeper, the scamp merchant. So, a little fun Clavicus Vile tidbits there. Yep. Awesome. So now merchants bend to my will. Oh, we have another artifact. So we're going to throw a hard save because we picked up a Daedric artifact and that's worth doing. We'll go ahead and level up. Says two. Okay, I thought it said illusion was already legendary level nine. I was like, no, I don't think it is. So another quest, another day. You see, we're doing fairly well. I think we will delay the burial. I think it's time to go do that. After all, it's just a poor jester with his old dead mom. What's the worst that can happen? Butterflies. We like butterflies. Health potions. Enchanting potions. Oh, poor Problem. Is 
Can't you see? I was transporting my dear, sweet mother. Well, not her. Her corpse. <laughs> She's quite dead. I'm taking mother to a new home, a new crypt. But ah, wagon wheel, damnedest wagon wheel. Don't you see? Is there someone hanging out? Oh, oh, oh yes! <laughs> yes, the kindly stranger yes, the kindly can certainly stranger. help. Go to the farm, the Lorius farm. Lorius just over there, off, the off the road. Talk to Lorius. He has tools. He can help me. But he won't. He refuses. He refuses. Ah, convince ah, Lorius to fix my wheel. Do that, and poor Cicero will reward you. With corn. Gleamy, shiny coin. coin. Alright, well, that seems like a reasonable request. Why is the farmer being a pig headed snot in bucket? Go fix this guy's wheel, you jerk. Oh, for the love of Mara, what now? That Cicero fella? <laughs> Tell me something I don't know. Crazy fool's already asked me about five times. Seems he's not satisfied with my answer. Why can't he just leave us alone? Pay me! You think this is about money? Have you seen the man? He's completely out of his head. A jester here in Skyrim? Ain't been a merry man in these parts for a hundred years. And he's transporting some giant box. Says it's a coffin, and he's going to bury his mother. Mother, my eye. Could have anything in there. War contraband, weapons, skooma. Ain't no way I'm getting involved in any of that. What? And just who in Mara's name are you anyway? Hmm? Come here, telling me my business. And for what? To help a, a fool? Do you see what I'm wearing? <laughs> Look, I... Yes, you're right, you're right. You're right, you're right. Look, um, Look, thanks. Um, and I'm sorry for my unneighborly reaction. If you talk to Cicero, you be sure to tell him I'll be down to help soon. Cicero murders both of them. <laughs> he just... He totally murders both of them. Because you don't mess with Cicero in this game. Oh, poor mother! You, 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 oh, stranger! stranger. You have made Cicero so happy, so jubilant. Here, here for your troubles. Gold, a few coins for your kind deed, and thank you, thank you again. <laughs> Wait for Lorius. Oh yes, mother and I will wait right here, right here until he fixes our wheel. So. We've delayed burial, and the Daedra's best friend, so we have another quest complete, as you see. Lots of quests are getting completed now. We're, we're getting things accomplished, which is important. I'm interested in talking to them for work. I am the work. i go clear out Pine Moon Cave and get that situation rectified. Hmm. 
some bones along with the mushrooms. We're into the mushrooms. We want to pick those up for alchemy. Obviously, we want the wolf belts. We're doing just fine. Just fine. Quests are being completed now. We're we're past the point of really having to worry about grinding ever again. I mean, we can, but we're not gonna. We're not gonna grind alteration again. We're not. We're not doing it. Don't worry. <laughs> I know that was a terribly boring situation to sit there and watch. Here we go. So I have about 300 pounds to play with. Huh? Never should have come here. <laughs> As you see right now, I'd be in danger of being turned into a vampire. I have no such worries now. Yeah, no it's not. He's a Volkir master vampire. He's... He's scary. Dead. I guess my question is, why has he got Dawn Guard stuff? He probably killed one and kept it, but still, it's awkward. Oh, garlic. Oh, okay. We'll take that. Magic potion. <coughs> Ooh, orcish dagger. Neat. Lockpick and some septums. Back room. Here's the chest. Arrow, lockpick, septum, zoogle, diamond necklace, staff, scaled helmet, jade sapphire. That was a good chest. So, we need to go tell Sybil about us clearing out these vampires, who are evil. Uh, 
All right. Cleared out another dungeon. Taking care of business. That's what we like to be doing. Huffing and puffing for some reason, even though I've barely started running. It might be from all the heavy armor. to be finished though I'm really looking forward to that but yeah I need to get the money first there's nothing like a good song to lift the spirit in troubled times I'm going to end the stream here. And I will talk to everyone later.